Assisted Living is the story of a woman who has been taking care of her mother, Anne, and, uh, and she's sort of at the end of her rope, and she needs a new nurse, so she hires a, um, a very underqualified person who just um, speaks to her in the right way. He has something to offer. Um, and it's a story about how this decision changes everything, essentially, in her life. And what I was exploring within this play is this idea that um, families are not just the families we were born into, but the families that we define for ourselves. Um, and I think um, it's currently in society we're getting to a place where families are, are more and more fractured. So the families that we create for ourselves in, in many ways become um, more important than the families that uh, that, that we're born into. Well, I'm one of four uh, kids in my family, so I, I'm really interested in adult sibling relationships, and, and that was part of what I was exploring. Um, this idea of uh, how our identities are formed within our families as children, and there's a way in which we hold on to that childhood identity within our families, even as we grow older, uh, we see each other as these in these childhood roles, and I always sort of think, well, how do you redefine that and is it possible to redefine that uh, and even if you go off into your life and you're a doctor or a lawyer or, or something really amazing you sort of come back into your house and you're the messy one or you're the quiet one or you're the you know troublemaker or whatever it is you can never um, you can never break out of that that role and so I was really trying to think of um, a situation in which th these two siblings would be forced to redefine um, their views of each other these actors with this cast, I thought they were so wonderful and so grounded and funny and they really had the rhythms of the language and um, they felt so real and connected um, in every scene and that was really incredibly wonderful to see.